guys, welcome back. Today's video is going to show you how I achieved this look, makeup look that I have right here. It's basically just a nice rosy gold color on the eyes, nice rosy glowy cheeks, and a simple pink lip. So if you want to see how I got this look, then just keep watching. Okay, hey guys, so I'm going to start out with priming my face before putting my foundation on. I'm going to use the Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer. Just put a small layer of that all over your face. If you put too much primer, it can kind of counteract what you're going for. It'll just make your makeup slide off, so you always want to make sure to put a thin layer. Now I'm going to go in with my foundation. Today I'm going to use the MAC Pro Longwear Foundation, sorry for the dirty bottle, in NC25. And as usual, I'm going to buff it in my skin with the Sigma F80 Flat Kabuki Brush. going to use for concealer the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in I have it in vanilla and I'm going to blend that out with the Sigma Tapered Kabuki F86 brush So now that we have properly concealed under the eyes, I'm going to go in with my Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder with the Sigma F35 Tapered Highlighting Brush just to set the under eye. Swirl it, tap off the excess, and just dab under. Always make sure to dab like this and don't swipe because then you're going to just move all of that concealer. You just took all that time to place properly. Now to set the rest of my face, I'm going to use this Hourglass um, Ambient Lighting Palette. It comes with three different ambient light setting powders and it's recommended to get this brush to go along with it because it just really gets the product on well. So today I'm going to use this darker shade. It doesn't come on very dark though. And that shade is Dim Light. So I'm just gonna put some lightly on the brush, tap off, and just dust it on my face. Now we're going to start on the eyes before doing um, bronzer and blush. So to prime my eyelids, I'm going to use Benefit Stay Don't Stray um, Eyeshadow Primer. And I'm going to blend that out with my finger. shadow that we're going to use is called creme brulee by makeup geek this is going to go just in our crease area so that we'll easily be able to blend out any other colors that we put on and it, to do that i'm going to use the uh, sephora pro crease brush number 10 this is similar to the sigma e40 brush it's just a big fluffy brush so i'm going to take some of that and we'll just put it in the crease It's okay if it goes up and around because that's the that's what we want. Just make sure to go in windshield wiper motions to really blend it out. So now for the color that we're going to put on the lid. Today I'm going to use the L'Oreal Infallible um, shadow. It looks like this. It's called Amber Rush. 
and it's a pressed pigment. So I find that the best way to put it on is just with my fingers. Just swirl it in like that. You don't even need to tap off the excess and it looks like that. And just put it on the lid. The next color I'm going to use will be the Garnet color right here from the Lorac Pro Palette. To put this color on, I'm going to use a more precise brush. This is the Sigma E25 blending brush, and this will get it more, get this color more specifically into the crease and on the outer um, corner of our eye. So I'm just going to lightly pick up some of that color, tap off the excess because we don't want any fallout, and just put it in the outer V. just basically concentrating the color on the outer corner of the eye and kind of just buffing it in the skin like that and I'm bringing it up a little bit here but not too much okay so now I'm gonna take another color from the uh, Lorac Pro palette I'm gonna take this mauve color right here on a small shader crease brush shader crease brush E47 and this is just going to go right in the crease just to deepen it up a little bit. Now I'm just going to go back in with the big fluffy brush that we used first just to blend everything out. I didn't put any more color on this brush. Now I'm going to go in with the champagne color of the Lorac Pro palette. I'm going to use the E I'm going to use the E55 brush from Sigma. It just looks like this and I'm going to use this to um, highlight under the eyebrows. I'm going back in with the big fluffy brush just to blend it all together. And then I'm gonna go in just with a small like flat shader brush like this one. This came with the Urban Decay um, three, Naked 3 palette. It's just a flat shader brush. I'm gonna go in with that champagne color again and just um, put it on the inner corners of the eyes. Now I'm going to line my eyes. Today I'm going to use a black gel liner. This is from L'Oreal. It's the L'Oreal Infallible Lacquer Liner in Blackest Black. And I'm going to use a really, really skinny um, flat shader brush. I don't know the name, but it, it has an angle like that. <laughs> I'm not going to create a big, big, thick line, big cat eye. Just basically line the eye. take advantage of that line and just smoke out the X uh, the um, I'm just going to smoke out the outside corner just a little bit more to do that I'm gonna go back in with the garnet color and the small um, blending brush and just really just pat it in that outside corner Then go in with that big fluffy brush, no product, and blend out. Now we're going to go in with bronzer and blush before we do the bottom part of the eye. For bronzer, as usual, I'm going to use the Physicians Formula Bronze Booster in medium to dark. And I'm going to use this big fluffy brush from Sigma, the F20 brush. Bronzing the forehead. We need to put a little bit of color back into our face. I'm not bringing the color down too much, just really on the outside of the face. Now for the cheeks. I'm 
My goal is not to have a major contour going on. I just want to warm up the face. For blush, I'm going to use this really pretty shade called Spring Sheen. It's from MAC. It's kind of going to go with the eyes. It has, it's like rosy goldy. And to blend that in, I'm going to use this smaller little fluffy brush, the F10 brush by Sigma. Now just for fun, I'm going to add a little bit of highlighter, the Laura Mercier Highlight 01. I think this was a limited edition, I'm not sure. Looks like this, just a big fluffy bundle of highlight. And I'm going to use this tapered blush brush, but it's actually for, uh, it's to put on blush, but I'm going to use it for, um, to put the highlight on. To put it on, I'm going to use this tapered blush brush from Sephora. It's uh, number 73, but I like to use it for my highlighter. And just dust that on the top of your cheekbones. Now we're going to do uh, just smoke out a little bit under the eyes. To do that, I'm going to take another color from the Lorac Pro Palette. I'm going to take this third color here. It's called Taupe. And I'm going to use the same brush that I used um, to put mauve in the crease. This is the uh, Sigma Shader Brush E47. Just dust some of that on the brush, tap off the excess, and I'm just going to go under the, um, the bottom lash line. mascara I'm going to curl my lashes and put a few coats of the uh, Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara I just went ahead and also put a coat of mascara on my bottom lashes. Now I'm just going to fill in my brows a little bit. I found this new product at Sephora. Well, it's not new, it's new to me. It's the Benefit Gimme Brow. And this thing is just so cool because if you're not too high maintenance about your brows and you just need a little bit of help filling them in, what this does, it, it has like is the tiniest one ever. And it has these little fibers on the end of the wand that kind of add stuff to your eyebrows so it works really well I find and uh, it really makes filling in your brows really easy now the final step will be lipstick Today I'm going to use this Tarte lipstick, such cute packaging. It's called Golden Pink. And last but not least, just a good spray of the All Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. So this is the final look guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, super easy, super fun to do. If you want to stay up to date on what videos I'm going to be doing next, please subscribe. I'm going to post videos every week. Also, if you like this, please give it a thumbs up. I really also want to know what you guys think. So please leave a comment. So that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.